Guys, don't do it, man. Postmates is trash. But right now, I don't like it. Welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. And there is a big thing right now with Postmates. There are quite a few people that are pissed off with this. Um, they basically, they changed their pay rate where they're no longer paying $4 per delivery. Now they're paying you something like, oh, I don't know, a buck seventy. Here, let me pull up some information in regards to what was sent to me. Okay, so here is the email that I received. I'm not going to say what market this is, just to protect my um, identity and my privacy. But uh, you can see here that they changed this to where it's $1.80 plus $0.07 cents per minute of wait time per pickup. Now, how do they know... When does that clock actually start? I mean, with DoorDash, you you uh, you slide uh, something to say I've arrived, but Postmates doesn't have that. So I guess you're just going off of their good graces on when they decide to start that clock. I don't know. As far as your GPS saying that you're there at the location, and as far as when you leave. I mean, what's to stop someone from picking up the order and just kind of sitting there, <laughs> sitting there waiting for another 10 minutes before they decide to take off? I don't know. Um, then we got the drop off, which is 70 cents plus 42 cents per mile. Um, and then they go in here saying these new rates remove the need for a minimum guarantee adjustment. So you always know exactly what you're earning. Well, this is a bunch of crap because you still don't know what you're earning until after you get done with the uh, delivery. Unless they figure, oh, I'm going to start doing math during my actual delivery to kind of figure out, like, you know how long the wait time is going to be. You don't. I mean, you could go there and pick it up right away, uh, which is usually most of the time with Postmates, or you could get there and have to wait 15, 20 minutes like I've had to do with IHOP. Because you have to, you have to order and pay while you're there, and then you got to sit there and wait for them to make it. I've had that problem with um, Buffalo Wild Wings too, which is weird because one location took orders and I didn't have to pay, and then another location I had to go there, place the order, and wait. <laughs> I don't know, but anyway, this is the whole new pay structure structure. There are people complaining, saying they're not even making the minimum of $4 now, that they're making around $3. Um, I've done one order since this new pay structure, and I got $4.30 uh, as a minimum. And then with tips on top of that, it brought it up to about 7 dollars But, yeah, so people are really, really mad about this. And that gets into uh, this article that I had here before, where Postmates workers want minimum delivery guarantees and at least $15 per hour. Good freaking luck. This is not going to happen, folks. $15 per hour? It's not going to happen. A minimum de delivery guarantee is more likely to happen, if anything, going back to what it was before. Uh, so let's take a look at this here. So IPO bound Postmates is under fire right now after making some changes to its payment structure for its delivery workers. Organizers at Working Washington say these charges can reduce pay for typical jobs by up to 30%. So as we were saying, uh, they were paying $4 per job and then you got your tips on top of that, which I was actually doing on average, I think I was doing better than uh, DoorDash because DoorDash is like, we'll give you $1 and then tips over that. But 
if it if it if you don't make the minimum of a five dollars then we'll cover that which is a bunch of crap so at least with postmates i was actually doing better but with this i don't even know honestly i don't even know um I think it might average out where some of it will be good and some of it will suck and it will average out to being the same, I guess. I don't know. But they say, you know, well, I already read this part here where they removed the need for a minimum guarantee adjustment. But a lot of people are saying that the reason they're doing this is so they can kind of skim off the top and get some money so that way uh, when they go public on the stock market, uh, that they can have a good price. So, yeah, that's what's going on with this with this garbage here. But uh, let's kind of get to this part here. At Postmates, we are dedicated to lowering the barrier to work and providing our Postmates fleet with the resources they need to supplement their incomes. This is the key word: supplement. It's, it's not meant to be a full-time job. It's meant to supplement your income. But there are people out there that are applying for regular jobs and nobody wants to hire them. So what do you do? What are you supposed to do? This Sometimes this is the only thing you can do. Technological innovations, reduce pickup times, yeah, right, and route efficiencies, yeah, right, are increasing the rate and pace of deliveries a Postmates can choose to make in a given hour, increasing payout averages from $17 an hour in 2018 to $19 an hour in 2019. On average, no. On average, I am definitely, not, I definitely have not made that much. Maybe around somewhere between $12 and $14 an hour on average. Now, yeah, see, they're not giving you the full truth here. There have been times where I've worked one hour and I did really well. And I made way more than $19 an hour. And then there are some hours where I don't make very much at all. So they're not being completely honest right here. So some people are thinking, oh, wow, $19 an hour. That's great. No, no, that's like $19, $19 an hour sometimes, <laughs> not on average. If you're doing it on average, you must be a magician or something because I haven't figured that out. Anyway. A Postmates spokesperson told TechCrunch, uh, this is the website this is from, this adjustment reflects those gains. Unlike competitors, Postmates always keep 100% of their customer tips, and those tips never eat into base earnings. Um, just to clear this up, Postmates drivers always keep 100%. That can be read a different thing, like Postmates like takes your tips. <laughs> It's not DoorDash. <laughs> uh, Postmates is referring to the that for the little, little due to the fact that both Instacart and DoorDash were caught subsidizing its workers' pay with tips. Uh, spokesman continued, all told, this these earnings gains are not only significantly higher than the federal minimum wage. It's a bunch of BS, but over seventy percent are being cashed out within minutes via our instant deposits program. The long-term upward mobility of our Postmates on and off the platform are also why we continue to lead the industry in career development resources, yada, yada, yada. No, you're not leading. Nice try, though. Organizers with Working Washington, however, are asking other gig economy workers to sign a petition, asking po Postmates CEO Bastion, kind of rhymes with bastard, layman, uh, as in layman terms, to pay the company's workers better. They want the minimum guarantee back, and they want a more transparent pay structure. This is more likely to happen than that, uh, was it, $15 per hour minimum. That's not going to happen, folks. This, though, the minimum guarantee back and a more transparent pay structure, that I can see. Of course, that's going to require updating their app, but anyway... Uh, Sage Wilson, an organizer at Work in Washington, who also spoke out about Instacart and DoorDash. I tried to join Instacart, and I was told that there were no openings, but anyway. Same thing with Grubhub. They say nearly 1,000 workers have signed a petition. 
in California, one delivery worker made just three dollars and forty nine cents for a thirty minute job. Uh, th thirty minute, three mile job that comes out to about seven dollars per hour. And then when you uh, account for car expenses, gas, it's only five twenty nine per hour. Yeah, that's a bunch of crap. I yeah, that that sucks. It really does. Postmates is worth two billion dollars. They can afford to pay workers more than four dollars per job, but as they prepare to go public and continue the race to the bottom against companies like DoorDash and Uber Eats, they're cutting our pay even as our costs increase. And they're using sneaky language to try to trick workers into thinking these changes are good for us. So that's this article here. Um, now you may be watching this uh, after the fact. But there's a there's a video here. There's another video here from a guy called Postmates Paul. So you may want to check this out. Uh, he his video is the only one that I've seen. I haven't really seen this anywhere else online. But I'm I'm guessing by uh, what he's saying in the video that it's maybe somewhere on Reddit. But apparently there are Postmates drivers that are going to be going offline on Wednesday, May 22, which is actually tomorrow. Um, uh, tomorrow, as in based on the upload date <laughs> of this video. But if it's after that date, or maybe you're watching it on the 22nd, uh, you know, this video will still be rel relevant. But even after that, you may still not know completely what's going on with this whole change in the pay with Postmates. So, so yeah, uh, I'll still do some, I like Postmates or I liked it anyway, and I would like to see them do better. So, um, I can continue to, uh, give you guys updates on what's going on with this whole Postmates situation, if you like. Um, I know that there are a lot of, uh, Postmates Paul, for example, there's a lot of channels out there that already cover these gig economy, uh, uh, gig driving, driving gigs, whatever. I know they're already out there, and this channel's not meant to be like one. This is more of a variety channel. Um, if you check uh, out all the other videos that are on this channel and the different playlists, you'll see that there's a variety of different stuff on this channel. And this particular series, Shep Rambles, is a variety of different stuff. It's not about the same type of thing. So, But anyway, uh, that's all I've got on this whole Postmates thing. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, if you like this video, please thumbs up. Um, I would appreciate it and subscribe if you're new here. Um, hope you'll hope you'll follow and uh, you'll get updated you know whenever there are new videos that are uploaded on the channel. But anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you on another rambling video.